Hey y'all, today I'm doing a really quick review on this Aero Pilates barrel that I bought from Amazon, mainly because I wish someone would have made this video for me to see before I bought this barrel. So I got this barrel on Amazon uh, during their sale and it was a really good price. I think it was like 250 something dollars, which is crazy compared to the fact that the normal starting price of a barrel is around 600 and for a lot of them you'll pay up to $800 and that does not even include shipping or wait times. Uh, but sometimes, you know, if it's too good to be true, it is too good to be true. So at the studio, we normally use the classical barrels. We have the Grotz barrels in there, and we have one of the archival barrels that I took for measurements uh, when I was ordering this one. And I kind of thought this was going to be closer to the archival barrel, but you know, you kind of get what you pay for in this life. I think I'm learning that lesson hard. Um, so let me show you the barrel. It is a really well made. I do have to say that. Um, the inside is pretty sturdy. It comes with this carrying handle, which I think is really neat and handy. Um, it's all solid wood. It is much lighter than the barrels in the studio, but it doesn't feel like it's going to break anytime soon. It looks like it would, you know, if I used it, it would be fine for a really a long time. And the stitching is nice. I love the color. I love the design. I was actually excited about the sleek look of this barrel. But here's the deal. This is why I'm sending it back. This is why I'm not keeping it. Um, number one, um, it's small. So it is smaller than the barrels that we have at the studio. I think it's even smaller than the archival barrel that we have at the studio. And it, there's something about this barrel that just doesn't feel right. The archival barrel has a much deeper slope. So when doing exercises like the teaser, you still feel that connection into your core. And while I get a little bit of it, it just does not feel right on this barrel. Like it doesn't feel right in either direction. Like I just, I mean, my butt is too big, but I just don't fit on this thing. Um, so a little bit too small. I mean, I don't know if you can see in this video, but yes, it is too small for what my body needs. But the main thing is I bought this barrel because I wanted some, a slightly higher barrel. I have a small barrel behind this box over here. And this is the uh, Balanced Body East Coast Small Barrel. Um, let's compare the, you know, the, the hump. I guess you can see it's, it's smaller than this, right? And it's like a little bit higher. And it shouldn't have been too much of a problem. The biggest part, uh, the biggest problem for me with this barrel is the fact that I cannot do the leg exercises on the barrel. The arm exercises kind of work pretty well, you know, especially if you're seated behind the barrel. This is not too bad, you know, going over the barrel. I'm just doing this real fast, but this actually feels pretty good and it's opening up my upper back. So if all you're gonna do is the arm exercises, then definitely save the money and get this barrel. But if you're trying to do any of the leg exercises on this barrel, um, if you're my size, which is like five foot six, just does not work. Especially if you have arms that are like normal length, but these handles that are here are way too close to my shoulders. So when I come down, all I do is keep sliding and I feel like I'm on my head instead of being supported on my back. And even the archival barrel in the studio has a handle that's further away and it feels more comfortable on my shoulder joint, on my chest and my upper back. Maybe if I use it for a while, I'll get used to it, but it just feels like I'm gonna have neck problems if I stay on here. So you do your leg exercises, which should feel good, but it doesn't. And then normally, you know, you could teaser up and off this barrel, but I just can't come off and up because of the position of these handles. It's so weird. Um, anyway, so I guess you would slide off this way, but there are times when I don't wanna do that. I wanna do like my regular Pilates practice, and it's just hard on this barrel. Um, so there's a lot of pluses about this barrel. It arrives really fast. Um, you can return it, which is a huge plus. I believe you cannot return the classical Pilates barrels that you order and have to wait like a lifetime to arrive. You know, like they arrive like nine months or six months after you order them. Those I believe you can't return unless they're damaged and then you have to pay for return shipping. Whereas this one's from Amazon, so you don't like it, you can always send it back. But yeah, if you're a normal sized or mid medium sized person, I would say that I, there is no normal, right? But if you're a medium sized person like me, around the five foot mark for women, if you're a tall man, this is definitely not gonna work out. Uh, but if you're a medium sized woman like me, five foot six with kind of standard length-ish arms and legs, this barrel is too small. 
Um, and uh, that's why, unfortunately, it's going to have to go back. And I'm going to have to spend all my money and wait like half my lifetime to, to get a classical barrel. But the classical barrel is it for me. And this just wasn't. I hope that was helpful for somebody out there. Uh, I hope you found some use in this video and when you're making and when you're making your choice in terms of which barrel to buy and whether it is worth spending more on the classical equipment versus uh, this piece of what I thought was archival but is actually like, I don't know, small contemporary, I guess. Um, yeah, and that's it. <laughs> Bye.